both of us come from, and most of our community, comes from small areas, um, and many of them rural. So it ties into our experience in growing up. We have learned right from the start to work with people in these experiences. It's good that there are two of us here because every individual has different gifts given them by the Lord. Sister Margie has a gift of music, also a great gift with uh, finance. It just works out well. We have a chance to uh, talk about things with each other, discuss ministry problems, uh, discuss different approaches. Two heads are better than one. In a rural diocese such as ours that uh, simply doesn't have uh, enough priests to, to be a pastor in all of our parishes, we still need a pastoral presence there. We still need the church there. And so Sister Margie and Lois are day in, day out, ministering uh, to the real pastoral needs of the people that are there. We journey with people. We are with them in their joys and their sorrows and in their occasions of celebration and in their occasions of sadness and that's a wonderful thing to be able to walk with people. I think I symbolize to the world um, a friendly, open, hospitable type of personality that welcomes people, that invites people to share what's going on in their lives because that happens an awful lot to me. Being a Franciscan uh, means to live the simple life and that's carried over into the parish in terms of not wasting resources. When we gather in community with, for the Eucharist, uh, that Franciscanism is reinforced. And Francis was also very, um, very aware that he was rebuilding the church. There is nothing more important than Vatican II, preserving the spirit in our church. I do my ministry because I am a Franciscan, and my ministry is touched by those things that I hold dear as a Franciscan, and I can't separate them. I, I see the ministry of Sister Ludmilla is very important. It truly is that outreach. That's what we call her ministry, the outreach ministry. It's the outreach of the church. This, this backpack project is a 12-month month job. What we have here are clothes that we purchase throughout the year whenever they are on sale. We don't buy anything full price. So as you can see, we have the girls are over there, the juniors are there, the adult women. Hanging up, we have coats now. We're still working on this. We don't quite have this thing figured out yet, how we're going to do it, but we'll have it figured out when it comes time. Sister David is doing the school supplies, and we're very, very generous with, with our supplies. Uh, one of the principals, when he found out about our program, he laughingly said, you don't give them a backpack, you give them a suitcase. And with that, with the work that I have do done and am doing, you are constantly, daily growing in your faith because you're meeting with all different kinds of people. You're meeting with the people who have, and you are working with the people who have not. I'm just the conduit between the two. And by these sisters living this witness and ministering in the name of the church in that vowed life is a reminder to us all of that greater calling which is ours to the kingdom of God.